If you are thinking about selling something on eBay or using PayPal to accept payment, think again. On November 18th, 2014, PayPal changed their dispute time from 45 days to 120 days. That is absolutely ridiculous. And this is particularly a problem with audio gear because people will buy something from you. Then they have four months to use it. So they essentially get a free gear rental. People do it all the time with Guitar Center and other big name audio gear stores. It is a disgusting practice. I don't care how broke you are. Don't be an asshole. Buy your stuff and then sell it used. The reason I bring this topic up is because within the next seven days, I'm going to be putting a bunch of gear up for sale. And I've been investigating how eBay's changed, their policies, their fees, all that stuff. And it's just adding up to say that eBay is terrible. They have become what they should never have become. And it's a shame because I used to use them. I've been using them for, oh man, probably over 15 years. And, uh, well, when I was a kid, it was my parents' account. <laughs> but anyway, you know, they used to be reasonable with their fees. And, and um, it just seems like they, you know, they're making hand over fist and really not doing much. So whatever, you know, I, I say eBay should start going down. And um, they should start realizing there is a free market out there and that, the free market with middlemen should be competitive. And anyway, um, if you want to get in on this sale, go to facebook.com slash real home recording to see what's listed. And among the gear that's going to be for sale is a Rode NTK microphone, an FMR audio, really nice compressor, an AKG D112, which is like a kick drum microphone, bass amp microphone, a Shure SM58, and a never-been-used iLock 2. Like I said, there's other gear that's going to be listed for sale, but so far, that's the big ones. And um, by the way, I will be reviewing a few of these items before they go into the mailbox, metaphorically speaking. Anyway, yeah, so you guys get first dibs on this gear before it hits Craigslist. I take really good care of my gear. I don't smoke or this gear has never been around smokers. If it has been, then it no longer smells like an ashtray. I'm sure that matters to a lot of you guys. So anyway, yeah, if it doesn't sell through Real Home Recording, then I'm going to be putting it up on Craigslist or Reverb.com, which is a website I recently found out about. Reverb.com, that ha it has better seller fees and uh, their policies aren't as ridiculous as PayPal. By the way, I will not be accepting payment through PayPal because of that, but I will for you guys, and to be fair to uh, anybody who's buying, and also to be fair to myself in case there is a dispute about whether the gear worked or not, I will be recording a video. What I'm going to do is show my computer screen, show a headline to show that that's actually a, a news headline to show that that's actually the date that I tested this gear out. And I'm going to pan down towards the gear, use the gear to show that it is in working condition. Um, and also, anybody who buys buys must pay insurance in case something does get damaged during transit. I've had that happen before. You know, I don't mess around with stuff that's over like 20 bucks. If it's over $20, get insurance. UPS, USPS or FedEx, I guess I'll give the buyer that option. Um, but depending on what they need to do, because I need to, you know, physically drive to these places and the post office is close. UPS is relatively close. Uh, but FedEx is pretty far away. So, yeah, if you get FedEx, you're going to be paying for it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but they will be fair prices. And, um, you know, I'm just selling gear because I no longer use most of these things. Uh, but they are in, they are good pieces of gear. I just don't have a use for them anymore. So this has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.